All right, so then I have friendship is essential to the soul in the reverse. So this person could have tried to befriend you so they could copy you in some way. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. This copycat energy, nasty coochie, knows that you are a true divine feminine. And this masculine wants you. You make me want to be a better man. This masculine energy, um, I'll have what she's having. This masculine energy is looking at a divine femme. They're realizing that they fucked up and chose nasty um, copycat over a true divine person. You inspire this person to be a better human being and it drives this copycat insane. It drives this person crazy because this masculine energy that I'm picking up on is like, I want whatever the fuck she's got going on because whatever I have going on here, it's not working for me. This person can't come close to you. They cannot compare. It's like they couldn't get you. Maybe you ghosted them. And this person is so far behind you with near and behind. It's like they can't compete with you. And why? Because you're an adult and you're not even competing. You've grown up. This person needs to grow up. They didn't want to go through a change. Someone is too immature. Someone is still acting way too childish. And they just need to grow up and act their age, act their wage. Okay, so somebody broke your trust because they didn't see you as a mystery. They didn't think there was anything lurking underneath the surface. Um, this could be the masculine energy that's with a copycat feminine energy here. Um, they broke your trust. They could have cheated on you. They could have lied, been deceptive. Um, because they didn't think there was anything beneath the surface. surface. They judged a book by its cover, which is unfortunate for them because they missed out on a big opportunity. And now they're regretting their decision because this copycat cannot compare. And no matter how many showers she takes, she still stinks. You're growing every day. You're growing, manifesting, evolving, changing into a new beast. It's like you have... I like that saying um, from Avenged Sevenfold. I love Avenged Sevenfold. It's like, he who makes himself a beast rids himself the pain of being a man. That's the beginning of backcountry. Ah, yeah. And you're balanced. You know, you're the kind that can get down with some ghetto rap and then bust out some southern gospel music. You know, I'm just using that as an example. Just saying. You're very balanced. You're balanced in your masculine, your feminine energy. You're balanced in your emotions and logic. This is driving somebody crazy, especially that karmic energy who's trying to copycat or imitate you. This could even be an ex that's trying to copycat you. It doesn't even have to be the same sex, but I, that fishy, nasty coochie is um, swimming in that fishbowl. Change your panties or something. Just saying. Wear a panty line or something. You're nasty. So what was done in the darkness? Somebody was keeping a secret with a moon card. You're in your nine of pentacles. You're just relaxing, chillaxing, working on you, doing you, working on your business. Someone was trying to keep it a secret that they've been trying to communicate with you, but I feel like you have this person blocked. They're trying to hide this from whoever, whatever nasty karmic they're with. And no, I'm not claiming that this is a divine masculine. So don't even twist my words. I never said this masculine was a divine. You, who are in the upright, are getting some sort of award or accolade. Um, this was a past love situation that was unsuccessful. So this is a past lover who ended up with somebody... Um, that they wish they didn't. This is a karmic relationship for you. And they ended up in a karmic relationship because they chose somebody over a divine femme or divine masculine. That's why they're showing up in your energy. You are the divine femme or masculine. And you walked away from this person because you knew this was not going anywhere. You knew this relationship was a dead end. You knew that this person was just trying to play on your emotions. Yeah, they love bombed you with the six of cups. They did a lot of love bombing to reel you in and then once they thought they had you it's like then they started treating you like shit they tw they they switched it up they changed shit up and you put an end to this you went through a death and a rebirth um you went through a major change and a transformation and this person didn't see you as a mystery and i've even seen it in the comments and this is a true thing this is so true okay so some of you don't even realize you have gifts or talents until you go through something very traumatic and this is, it's a sad thing, but it's also a beautiful thing. And I can relate to this because 
um, back in 2019, I didn't know I could do this. I didn't pick up my first deck of cards, these, until 2020 when my ex-husband ran off with my daughter when she was two at the time and started putting me on the path, my divine path. Um, you know, I had a lot of religious people turn against me and shit. And so, yeah, I mean, I've seen it in the comments where some people didn't even realize they had gifts or talents, especially spiritual gifts or talents, until they went through something traumatic. We have a jealous queen of cups here, someone who does things based on emotion. They are not balanced. This person does things for self-serving purposes. They do not do things from a heart space of love. You are the real deal, honey. You are true. You are authentic. You do everything from a heart space of love. That's why you have these gifts and talents. And that's why this psycho crazy bitch cannot copy you. Because you can't fake the real thing. Because you are the true high priestess or priest. Take it how it resonates. There is not a priest card in here. So, you know, you have to make do with what you've got. I think I only have one deck. And that's my Fantastical Creatures Tarot cards. I think that's the only deck I actually had that has a priest card in it. And that relates to, like, contracts and broken contracts and stuff like that and spiritual advisors, so. Yeah, there was a karmic love situation here. You have a Two of Cups coming in. This was not an official person. This is someone... This past karmic lover ended up with someone who does not have spiritual gifts or talents maybe um they judged a book by its cover they didn't think that you were the real deal because maybe you didn't live up to their expectations um but you know what people's opinions of you are not who you are so i mean that's kind of on them for making these preconceived notions or judgments against you they're still watching you this copycat is obsessed, obsessed and addicted to watching you, trying to be you. They have fake profiles. They send you emails and shit, um, trying to, they even hide their gender, mask their gender. Like they pretend to be a different person and they're like, well, how did you do this? How did you do that? It's like, they're trying to figure out what your little secrets are so they can try to copy you better. It doesn't matter. You could give them an entire playbook, play by play on how you do something. They'd still fuck it up because they're not real. They're not authentic. They're just pretending you actually have a gift or talent. So you're speaking the truth with the queen of swords energy here. You're thinking logical. Somebody wants to come celebrate you with you with the four of wands. Somebody wants to dance, shake a leg with you. Somebody put you in a competition. This ex who chose the copycat, it's like they wanted you to compete with this person for their love, time, and affection. For what? What did you even offer? What do you bring to the table? This person could have even said, what do you bring to the table? No, motherfucker. What do you bring to the table? Why the fuck would anyone want to compete for you? You're nasty. You're sleeping around with everybody. You're fucking uh, gross. You're gross. You brought a tower moment on yourself. This, this karmic masculine that was with a divine feminine and chose another karmic over them, the copycat nasty skank bitch. Let's just, let's just get this straight. You tried to put a divine fem in a competition for what? What are they competing for? Let's keep it real. Let's keep this shit honest. What are you worth? You ain't worth shit. You're nasty. Why the fuck are you sleeping around lying about who you're in a relation? Oh, lying about being single? Lying about not being a drug addict? Yeah. You said a divine femme was a drug addict? That's you. Ace of Wands. What was taken from you is going to be given back to you. Or somebody wants to give you a gift. And if it's this nasty, skank-ass dude that has dipped their nasty wand in all the fish bowls in the county um reject that shit but somebody wants to offer you something possibly even a nice big fat wand someone you're going to be celebrating with someone's watching to see if someone has come to offer you that nice big wand that you've been waiting for your karmic ex who put you in a competition this gold digging king of pentacles yeah Maybe you didn't have a lot of money when you were with this person and they're like, I can't get anything from them. I'll put them in a competition. I'll make them think they're crazy. I'll gaslight the shit out of them and then throw them away. I'll steal their shit. I'll steal their kids' shit. I'll steal their kids' artwork. 
Yeah, how'd that work out for you? Just asking. How'd it work out for you? How's your life? Is it cushy? Is it is it happy? Do you have a happy home? Eating this bitch's kids' like fruit snacks and shit. This karmic got pregnant on purpose. <sighs> or faked a pregnancy to trap this person up. How's that working out for you? Are you enjoying this? I mean, you wanted what the Divine Femme had so badly, but let me ask you, um, did this person warn you of who this person was? I mean, the life that you were so jealous of, that you wanted so badly, the abuse that this person inflicted on them that you're now experiencing, was it worth it? And no, I'm not saying you deserve to be abused. I'm saying you were warned and you wanted this female's energy so bad. And you even tried to trap this person up by getting pregnant or saying you were pregnant. Someone got pregnant and actually had an abortion. Just saying. Somebody has an addiction problem with addiction or gambling and bad finances. The person that you wanted so bad that you were so jealous of, this masculine that you were fighting so hard for, has a sex addiction, has a drug addiction. They're bad with finances. They waste their money. Cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. You, divine femme or masculine, are in a new cycle. You want intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. This person's reminiscing about you, the intimate times, the good times, the boat times. I'm old Greg. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's funny as shit. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be significant. Yeah. You want the real deal. You want someone who's going to be intimate, upfront, and honest with you. This karmic created an illusion. The karmic masculine and feminine created an illusion in this. It's really sick and sad because the illusions that they've tried to place on a divine um, femme or masculine, it's like they're under the illusions themselves. And judgment has been called because everything that they built was based on lies. So after this karmic masculine fucked up things with a divine femme, they ended up with a karmic femme. And now they're getting fucked over as well. Meanwhile, you're getting the offer that you've been waiting for and it's not coming from this person. This person made a decision. This ex-lover made a decision to give their flowers to somebody else. Created a very emotional situation. Like I said, you do everything from a heart space of love. You're the queen of pentacles. This person's a gold digger, king of pentacles. They're worthless. They chose someone who was not held in high honor. And this could even be a same sex thing. I'm just going to say it, King of Wands, um, they both came out in their masculine energy. This is someone who is a player, a hoe. So someone was a gold digger, and someone was an assy-ass skank with a sex addiction. So they both trauma bonded based on their addictions. One um, is addicted to finances and drugs, and one is a player that's addicted to drugs. So the common denominator is drugs, possibly alcohol. They share addictions. But for some reason, they're still obsessed with you and what you've got going on. Yeah, your divine counterpart is the king of cups. You came up as the queen of cups. Your divine counterpart is the king of cups. Someone who is emotionally balanced, who does things from a hard space of love. These people are not moving on to calmer waters because they're liars. The queen of swords and the reverse. These people, these karmics are liars. They're not thinking logically. They're not using the brain that God gave them. Sorry. You are the official person. You always have been and you always will be. That's just the way it is. Because you're the star. You actually have the divine connection. You actually have gifts and talents. You actually are an authentic teacher, preacher, prophet, whatever. You are connected to the divine. You are exactly what you say you are. These people are not rebuilding. They're not moving forward. Um, you can't it's reminding me of the three little pigs. You can't build a house built on a shitty foundation. Their house is built out of straw. You build a house of bricks. And no, that's not like, I'm not meaning like a literal house. Because someone could live in a brick house and it doesn't mean you're shit. So don't take that as um, confirmation of you being divine because that doesn't mean shit. Something is over. You've taken a moment to pause and reflect about these karmics. 
it's over. Ten of Swords. They have Ten of Swords themselves. I mean, it's pretty obvious. They're both karmics. You're going towards your divine connection. You're the Queen of Cups in the upright. You do things from a heart space of love. You get the new beginning, new start. You're going to be moving, getting a new job, getting a new love, getting a new boo, getting a long-lasting relationship. Um, you're not dealing with karmics anymore. <clears throat> You can spot that shit a mile wide. You learned your lesson. You know that these people were being two-faced. You probably know both of them. I'm getting that you know both of them. The masculine and feminine energies that are coming up. I feel like if you're a divine femme or masculine, you already know who these karmics are and who they're dealing with. That's why you're going to get justice. There's some sort of justice that needs to be balanced out here. Someone was being two-faced and they're a coward. They're a little whiny-ass bitch. And they lied about putting you in a competition but you already knew that they tried to have you competing with someone that's why you're like nope deuces i'm out bye felicia it's just the truth i can't make it up you can't get mad at the truth and if you do get mad at hearing the truth you're a karmic because you don't want to grow up you don't want to change you don't want to do the shadow work that's why there's a death that's why there's an ending coming for you big big changes are coming <clears throat> yeah you're uneducated you don't know anything you it's like you're doing spells out of a book you're not divinely guided you have no divine connection <clears throat> you're cooking up shit in the kitchen that's poisoning your the person that you claim you want to be with you're actually making them sick the cycle is over with these players. The King of Wands in the reverse. This is not a leader. They're in their nasty skank energy. They put their wand in everything and everyone that moves. And it's nasty. I mean, they're both nasty. These karmics deserve each other. Just stay with each other. Don't even bother the Divine Femme or Masculine anymore. This is nasty shit, man. You're nasty. That's not going to change. The Empress here is resting easy. Sleeping well. Safe and protected. I feel like you both. I feel like there's a masculine and fat karmic femme. It's like your ex, their person that they're dealing with. It's like they both want to be you. I don't know if this is a man that... Yeah. A masculine that might want to be a female. So this masculine could be trying to copy you as well as this copycat female. I mean, this is sick shit here. Yeah, someone got left out in the cold or someone's feeling left out in the cold because they don't have access to your energy anymore. Someone's at a crossroads. Someone has their guard up. You could have your guard up, and as you should, because these crazy psychos are sending shit your way or trying to. Anything else? Maybe I need to switch hands here. I used to do that a lot. I used to switch back and forth a lot. And then I started primarily using my other hand. But yeah, the cycle is over. These people are fools because you're carefree. You're relaxed. You're chilling. And they're trying to be you. They're like, I want what she's got going on. They could be stalking you, watching you, even trying to record you, catching you on camera <coughs> so that they can try to imitate you better. Like, if you lived with this person, one of these, either one of these karmics, they had cameras hidden in their house to record you doing whatever you do. But you could have gotten the feeling that you were being recorded. So maybe you didn't do what they expected you to do. They, they couldn't catch you on film. Yeah. There's an emperor. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. So you're in your carefree energy. There's an emperor here who wanted you to be fighting a lot of conflicts or you're fighting a lot of conflicts because of this emperor or you could be a masculine that's fighting off a lot of conflicts because of a karmic femme or whatever. There's a masculine energy here that either caused the conflict or is fighting a lot of conflict. And if it's conflict between two females, this mask, okay, here we go. This masculine, this is sick, man. 
Okay, so this is how fucked up this person's perception is. This masculine pitted two female energies against each other, right? And in this person's sick, twisted, fucked up mind, they're like, oh, well, eventually they'll start stop fighting and then just start fucking each other. Like, this masculine thought he was going to be the cream in the middle of two females. It's like, this is fucking gross, man. It didn't happen. The karmic femme could be bisexual, um, but the divine femme um, may not be. So they were barking up the wrong tree. Um, the divine femme or masculine, you're rebuilding, you're moving forward. You're going away from whoever this is. This is sick. Like, they seriously thought that pitting you against another person of the same sex would make you want to have sex with them even more. They were both doing sex magic and doing all kinds of nasty shit. It's gross. They're trying to keep you trapped in a negative situation, but you're going to be set free. You are going to defend yourself, or someone is going to come and defend you with some sort of truth. Or this person could come back and try to keep you trapped up by offering you a little piece of the truth. All this conflict is going on. Well, let me tell you a little story. Um, you know, I was tricked. I was duped. They were doing spell work on me. I mean, this person's going to come and offer you some sob story. You're, you may hear what they have to say. You might not. But this person's under judgment. You, you have a righteous judgment. The king of pentacles, or not the king of pentacles, the king of cups you're balanced emotionally so you may hear this person out maybe not you may be like all right state your state your piece um you know what the fuck you got to say and then once they say what they gotta say um then you're gonna say nope i'm still calling judgment on your ass because i know it's a lie it's only a half truth it's not the whole truth someone's getting arrested the whole truth and nothing but the truth so help you god This person doesn't know the truth. This person has deceived themselves. Someone's life is a struggle. They pretend that they're happy. My wife and I are very happy. Um, they're eavesdropping on you, trying to copy you, trying to imitate you. Um, this person thinks that their life will be better if they can get this karmic to be you. I don't, I don't know how they think that's going to work. Someone is getting released from jail, and this is in the reverse. Um, and this is not a light worker. So, somebody who pretended to be a light worker is not getting released from the, the prison that they trapped themselves in. This could even be an emotional prison or a mental prison. Um, this person can't escape their own delusions. And I say delusions, not illusions, because they have deluded themselves into the fact that they think that they're a divine being and they're not even close. It's like they're they're pretending, portraying themselves to be a light worker. And they have themselves trapped in this karmic prison where they refuse to see the truth that their actions, that their behaviors is what is keeping them trapped and bound in that karmic cycle. And that is why they're stuck with an abuser. This could be your twin flame, but... You have different religious beliefs, and this is not who you're supposed to be with. I don't care how much alike you are. I don't care if this person claims that they were your soulmate, whatever. This person is an abuser, and you are not meant to be with this person. And if you don't like that, go elsewhere. They betrayed you. There was a betrayal here. This was not your true love. And if you don't like what I'm saying, then you're the karmic. I mean, you got to know where you stand on shit. This person who pretended to be your true love lied about you. They lied about you to the community. They lied about you to this false person. They lied to put you in a competition with someone that you don't even want to compete with. It's like, ew, you can have that person. You don't even want anything to do with any of these people. Like, none of them. Like, you are so over all of it. Moving along. You healed from whatever wounds this person inflicted upon you. They're not coming out of a dark space. They wanted you stuck between a rock and a hard place so they could force you into some <sighs> nasty relationship that you had no intention of being a part of. I mean, if you're bisexual, whatever, if you're into threesomes, what that's your business. But this person was trying to force someone into a, re a relationship 
that is not like that. So the karmic is like that, but the divine femme is not like that. They don't mess around with shit like that because they know a true divine femme or masculine. I don't care if you disagree with me or not. If you don't, then go suck a dick. I don't give a shit. A true divine femme or masculine is not going to have threesomes and sleep around or have an open relationship. Why? I'm going to tell you why. Because when you sleep with someone, you get their energy attached to you. Everybody that they have slept with, all their energies are attaching themselves to you. If you are a true divine femme or masculine, you can't have nasty, spiritual, gross deities trying to attach themselves to you. You have to keep your energy clear. You have to keep your energy pure and neutral. For all intents and purposes, this, pain, this person was being a pain in the neck, a pain in the butt. Um, you're passionate about who you are and what you do, and this person sees that. Both of these fuckers do. That's why they want to be you so bad. But they can't because they're into this nasty shit and they don't want to heal themselves. I'm telling you, you cannot claim to be a divine femme or masculine if you're doing shit like this. I don't care. You're not having threesomes. You're not into that poly shit. You're not sharing your partner. You're not sleeping with the whole fucking town and claiming to be a divine. It doesn't work like that. And if you disagree with me, then you're wrong. And you're the karmic. Here's your sign. Then you're not the boss. That is why you're not the boss. I'm sorry to tell you, but you're not the boss if you're out there doing nasty shit. Why do you think so many people are in the comments saying that they've been celibate for so long? They are the ones who are the true divine people. The people who know how to save themselves and give themselves to someone who is actually deserving of them. Why? Because they know their worth, they know their value, and they know, they know that they shouldn't be out just... Mm. I'm just going to leave it. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, then you're the karmic. Somebody's trying to control you. They want you under his or her thumb. They want both you and the karmic. A Virgo could be significant. A Leo could be significant. An Aquarius. Cancer. Um, you lived under the same roof as this person. They're yanking your chain. They're greedy. They don't count their blessings. They always want more and more and more. Something significant about a Thursday in June with a Virgo. Something is as dead as a doornail. It's done. Once again, there's something significant about the winter time and noon. With the Pisces, someone is going to be spilling the beans on a Saturday. Ooh. Possibly about a Gemini or involving a Gemini or it could be a Gemini that's doing this. Someone's getting their wake-up call. Someone has seen the light. Libra. There's a Libra who's seen the light. Brooks and Dunn. I saw the light. I'm in baptized. I'm running out of time. I got a head start and I'm still running out of time. Yeah, there's a lot of rumors going around about someone you will not submit. This has someone all in their head. You refuse to bow down to them. It's like they're trying to control you. You're getting a new start. This person left you with scars and you survived them. You're still alive and this has them exploding, looking tragic because they couldn't get you off of your path and turn you dark. Trust me, they've been trying to attach these entities to you because they want you to have that group nasty sex. They hate your light. Your light literally irritates their demons so bad. I could be a significant person, place, or thing. Why? If you do some like DIY or DYI or whatever, do it yourself projects, P. Um, both of these people try to copy you or imitate you. Like, if you sell things, make things, like scents, candles, shit like that, they try to copy that shit too. Um, but their shit's cursed. Their stuff is nasty and cursed. R. Mr. Mister, the group Mr. Mister could be significant, or the song Mr. Mister, something like that. S. Mrs. Yeah, someone got married or someone's about to get married. Someone married the karmic... Double I, so someone's being watched with two eyes here. PI, private investigator. P, triple P. Wait, no double P here. I thought there was another P. And T. So we have 
MRS, PY, PII, and T. I hope this helps, folks. Have a good day.